Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will solve the optics exercise from the second session, 2015, about determination of the focal length of a converging lens. For this, we place an object AB at distance P from a converging lens that is not shown on the figure. We place A on the optical axis and AB is of size 1 cm graphically. On the other side of the lens, we put a screen E that is parallel to AB at distance P prime from the converging lens. We adjust the distances P and P prime until we have a sharp image A prime B prime on the screen and such that AB equals A prime B prime. In this part we want to specify the nature of the image A prime B prime. Specify means that we have to indicate and justify. The image A prime B prime is real because it's formed on the screen. In this part, we want to deduce that the image is inverted. Deduce means that you have to draw new information by using previously proven or given ones. A prime B prime is inverted because all the real images are inverted. In this part, you have to redraw or reproduce the figure on your graph paper. So you draw the optical axis, x prime o x, then place point A on the optical axis, and A B is of size 1 cm graphically. Then you move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cm graphically away from A to draw the screen E and to place the image A prime. Then A prime B prime is 1 cm graphically. That's how you reproduce the figure. In this part, we have to determine graphically the position of the optical center O of the lens and represent the lens L. Determine means that you have to show through logical reasoning or calculation. B, O, B prime are collinear because any ray passing through O continues undeviated. So, if we join B and B prime, the intersection of this line with the optical axis is the position of the optical center O. Now we can draw the converging lens. In this part, we have to trace the emergent ray corresponding to a luminous ray issued from B parallel to the optical axis. And trace means that you have to draw without justification. Let's draw the ray that is parallel to the optical axis starting from B. parallel to the optical axis continues passing through f prime but you don't have f prime yet so how do we continue this ray we know that any ray coming from the object b continues passing through its image b prime so this ray continues to the image b prime when we draw a ray from b parallel to the optical axis the emergent ray continues passing through b prime this emergent ray meets the optical axis at a particular point M. What does this point M represent for the converging lens? The intersection of the emergent ray with the optical axis is point M. What does M represent to the lens? This ray is parallel to the optical axis, so it continues passing through F prime. It means that point M is the image focus of prime. In this part, we want to determine graphically P and P prime. P is the distance between point A and the optical center O. So P equals 1, 2, 3, 4 centimeters graphically, and we multiply by the scale, which is 15. So P equals 15 times 4. 
Now P prime is the distance between A prime and the optical center, which is one, two, three, four centimeters graphically, and again we multiply by the scale, so four times fifteen equals sixty centimeters. In this part, we want to compare P and P prime. Then we want to deduce the relation between P and F. So let's compare P and P prime. So P is the distance between OA and P prime is the distance between O and A prime. Both of them are four centimeters graphically and both of them are 60 centimeters in reality. Now this special case occurs, P equals to P prime and AB equals A prime B prime only when we place the object at distance 2f from the converging lens. So p equals 2f. In the last part of this exercise, we want to deduce the value of the focal length f. As we said that p equals 2f, so f equals p over 2. We already found P to be 60 centimeters, so 60 divided by 2. The focal length is 30 centimeters. If you find this video useful, please share it with your grade 9 friends, and I'll see you in my next video.